Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert, and today on Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, my subject is a perspective on aliens. I say a perspective because it is partly mine, partly Vimalananda's, and partly the perspective of what can be gleaned from the classical Indian literature. Vimalananda was very unimpressed with the whole concept of, and remember we were, I was talking with him 40, 50 years ago, flying saucers and UFOs and aliens, etc. Um, he said that to some degree, some of this would have been the gods and goddesses who live in the upper atmosphere, who according to what the literature says, have to use vehicles to move around from place to place, in particular from that area down to the very much denser reality where we are down here. And in order for them to get into this denser reality, they have to have some kind of denser vibration than they do living way up in the upper atmosphere. So that denser vibration will certainly take on some kind of form that would be perceived by us humans in a particular way. So he said, to some degree, there would be some of this happening, but to a much greater degree, the majority of what's happening is not from these devatas, these suras, but rather from asuras. Asura being a, an ethereal race, very similar to the suras, to the devas, but much less benign and much more interested in simply getting people to believe what the Asuras want them to believe. And one of the things they might easily want people to believe is that that they are aliens from Orion or from wherever. And they could well be from that part of the sky. But even if they are from Orion, they still have to, in order to get down to where we are, take on the density that requires them to come down to this place. And as they do that, they become influenced by all the different causative factors and karmic realities that are part of this reality down here. So Vimalananda was extremely unimpressed by the concept that these aliens were from advanced civilizations and they were gonna do this and do that. And he said, certainly, the devas have their own advanced civilization. The asuras civilization compared to ours is much more advanced in many ways. But what's important is not whether the civilization is advanced, but whether the individuals from that civilization who want to interact with us are trying to do so in a benign way or not. And he was of the opinion that most of these UFOs were not particularly benign and it was better not to pay so much attention to them. But note how so much attention is being paid to them and continues to be paid to them. And I personally have no doubt that something, that, that there is some reality to this. But whether it's the, re I personally agree with Vimal Ananda, I don't see that it needs to be, that we don't need the complicated concept that people are coming from different part, areas of the universe in some kind of, of, of physical spaceships when in fact um, uh, the people that we really would be impressed with are those rishis, or that I'm impressed with, those rishis who could be go from here to the sun in less than one second, and if they wanted to go to a, a, a different star, they could be there in the space of a second because they have a control over the time and space that we are in that is totally different from our ability to understand what time and space and control of time and space might be. So in my opinion at least, and I'm taking it mainly from Vimal Ananda, uh, definitely I believe there is something out there relating these aliens, but Honestly, I'm more interested in Shiva and Vishnu and Ganapati and Hanuman. Om Namah Shivaya.